back everybody, Eric Hope, the general contractor. So today I want to show you, um, I want to show you one way that you can build a router sled. It's very cost efficient. It's, it's one of the cheapest ways I know. Uh, I know there's a thousand different uh, ways to achieve a router sled. Uh, you can build them all sorts of different ways. You can buy high-end ones that are actually, you know, really cool. Uh, but you're going to pay for those. So this may not be the cheapest way, but it is definitely close. It's definitely pretty cheap. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This setup was real easy to achieve. You could walk in any Home Depot, any Lowe's, anything like that. Uh, your basic handheld router, not the smaller guy. And I walked right over to the metal section. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can buy the metal already pre-cut or you can cut by long pieces and cut them to what you want. Uh, a lot of my stuff is well over 24 inches. Some is well over 36. So I made my rails uh, to where it would fit mine. You can adjust yours differently. Uh, just like that. These are just one buys down here on the bottom. I've got a three quarter inch sheet of birch sitting on a concrete slab floor. Uh, one one by on each side. Then I have my one by rails, if you will, sitting on here. This guy actually is separate, as you can see. So I just tack welded these ends together completely square so they don't move. And when you set the guide rails down on top, they're going to fit. Everything's going to be perfectly square. And you can just slide this guy back and forth. So if I have really long pieces of countertops and stuff, I can put this guy on this side. Once I get about halfway over here like this, then I can actually put him over on this side and, and, and bring him back. So all this together, just my plywood here, uh, my two one buys, the metal, I don't have 125 bucks or so tied up into this. Uh, again, I, I know you can create all kinds of different things. The, the main thing you want to do is, of course, everything to be predominantly level. Uh, that's the, that's the biggest thing. It's just a quicker way of getting your piece planed out without, you know, of course, having a huge industrial plate. So this works real well for me. Uh, may not be your cup of tea, but again, just trying to give you an alternative if you are sitting here sanding for six to eight hours or, uh, you know, using uh, belt sanders and things like that. So it's going to take you hours on end to achieve just even an eighth of an inch layer. So this is real good. You can pick this up for, you know, about 125 bucks, put it together, and I mean, you're just like that. You're in business. I just want to give you a quick uh, right across here and back just so you can kind of see what's going on. Fixed anything yet? It's just a real quick way to 
get through all that nastiness and debris and it just turns out really well. Just that simple. Uh, you just keep sliding down as you want to go. So we're going to finish getting the rest of this uh, completely level with this. We're going to get out the sanders here in a little bit. We're going to get all this cleaned up, so we'll be right back real soon.